Thank you, everyone. Um, welcome to another vlog. This is the last. I'm going to take these off. This is the last vlog for the Hunger Games series. <laughs> this is the this is the one that I'm I'm worried about the most. So. Yay. I think it's the biggest book as well, it's like 11 hours, but I don't know if that's 11 hours full speed. I don't know how BookBeat works, because I know that on some apps it shows you what, how much actual time you've got left, not the actual length of the book, if that makes sense. But I think that BookBeat shows you the length of the book, but I've got it on two speeds, so I think it's about five and a half hours, actually, but we'll see. So we've just, just started listening to the first couple of chapters. Katniss is explaining what's going on, give a bit of a recap of what happened in the last book and that she still hasn't found Peter and she's been back to District 12 to try and like salvage whatever she can. She's found the cat <laughs> but it's all very just um, sort of recapping at the moment. I don't know. I'm 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 scared. But um oh but I put this up as a vote option on Twitter and it was voted for. So this is now my second read of the month because my first one was Legends of Lattes, which was great after finishing Lord of Shadows, but this is now my second pick of March and the pain is already gonna begin. Yay for me. Peter. Never hurt Peter. After not liking him, like to begin with, it's just. There's just the camera fell and blood and screams and. I don't know. I don't, I don't want him to be hurt. Don't understand. I, I've literally just got into bed. As I got into bed, I was listening to the situation. We were getting into the bunker, and I thought Prim was going to be lost. I thought she was going to, like, not make it, but she's made it. She's in the bunker with Gail, who, not sure if I like him. Not going to lie, but, um, he's okay. We're all good. I can breathe. Prim's okay, the mum's okay, Katniss is okay, Peter's still not okay, he's not dead. Based on the chapters, uh, part of the chapters I've just read, he's just severely beaten. <laughs> we have an update. Peter's just strangled her. Peter's just strangled Katniss. I'm home. I'm home. I listened to that particular thing whilst I was perusing the shelves at Sainsbury's. And I gasped aloud in the middle of Sainsbury's and I got some funny looks, okay? We're, we're just gonna go with it. Like, the whole of Huddersfield who are in Sainsbury's gonna think I'm really weird and walk up and down. Honestly, that's a bit dramatic in it, the whole of Huddersfield, but you know what I mean? People think I'm weird. But then again, it is Huddersfield. People walk around talking to themselves all the time. So, probably not that weird compared to a lot of people that live around here. But yeah, um, she's not been allowed to talk. Like he must have really gripped her. Sorry about the noise in the background. I decided to vlog this when a wash is going off. Um, but he must have really gripped her, and like because she wasn't allowed to talk, and that did break my little heart because he loved her, and now he thinks she's this fucking mutt and that what's her name the, the girl beginning with D um, went in to speak to him and he was like you can't trust that she's a mutt and he's like totally been calling her hijacked like what the fuck I don't like these fucking comments Gail's making constantly 
Um, wow. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't like him. I've decided. I liked him at first and I wanted the whole childhood, like, romance to blossom. And now I just want Peter back. I want the old Peter back. I don't want him and Katniss to be happy. Bogus' legs have just been blown off. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. It's it's explaining how he's gonna die like Rue, and she's gonna have to hold him like Rue. And I'm I'm not ready for this. I'm not. I'm not. Oh no, they're being ambushed. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. But now Mitchell's hurt and he's bloodied. He's been he's been like Peter's gone mad again and like started attacking Katniss again to try and like hit her with a butt of a of a rifle thing. I don't I don't know. And then Mitchell went to tackle him and then got took him by took taken took him back by um by a net. I don't know. What's going on? Okay, now Boggs is dead and um he's just said to Katniss, don't trust him. Don't go back. Do what you came to do and kill Peter. She better not kill Peter. I want this to be a, a happy ending. I want Peter and Katniss to end up together. I want him to get his memory back. I don't like this. I don't, I've only got 30% left. I don't like the way this is going. I haven't cried yet though. I've almost cried, but not yet. I don't think. So glad I was not eating when I... Um started reading this because Masala is now melted. Melted. So dead. Ignore the mess. Phoenix now dead. Oh he seemingly is dead. Whoa, what's going on? He's just been he's just been death bitten and the flashes went through Katniss's brain as this thing bit. Finnick, Finnick. I liked Finnick and he's just got married. I'm not crying though. I'm not crying. I'm just shooketh. This is supposed to be why eh? It's pretty fucking brutal. Katniss is a fucking savage. She just fucking shot someone through the heart. This is. Sorry. Gentlemen, gentle friends, why in the same room, in earshot of Katniss, are we discussing who she's going to pick? You're in war. You're at war, guys. You are fighting for your lives and you are bothered about who she's going to pick at the end. Why? Sort yourselves out, bitches. So she's now given Peter a pill, the little nightlock thing, and she's basically left with Gail, and Gail's now been taken by some people in white robes, or white coats or something. Is it the peacekeepers? I don't know. I'm confused. A little girl died. <coughs> it didn't focus on that too much, so I didn't have time to, like, ponder too much, but so far... I'm okay. I've had a couple of moments where I've been like, mm, but not like sobbing. So sorry, I'm sorry. Did we just say human shield using children as a human shield? I'm sorry. I am not reading the ballads of songs and snakes and whatever it's called, whatever the fuck it is, because I don't care why Snow is the way that he is. I don't care about his villain origin story because absolutely no way on this planet Earth. <laughs> well, maybe on Earth, I don't know. No way can anybody justify using children as a human shield. I don't care what your trauma is. I, well, that makes me sound like a harsh bitch. But whatever your trauma is, there's no excuse for that. I mean, there's no excuse for what he's done anyway, but there's going to be no justification for that at all. No, 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 no. no. All right. Not only did he use them as human shields, he barricaded them in to, like, penned them in, and then bombed them. 
For why? For why? Right, okay. Okay, okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I am okay, genuinely okay. Um, not cried again yet. But <laughs> Smash sort of kindly informed with it. She didn't start crying till the last couple of pages of the book. So, yay for me! I've got 12% left. And Prim's dead. Gail is alive. Peter is alive. Snow is in prison. Needs to be dead. Needs to just be kaput. Mm -hmm. That's Alice messaging me about this book. And me and my thoughts. My feelings and ponderances. That is all. Until it disorientated. She has been traumatised. Traumatised. Mentally disorientated. The fuck? No, 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 no. No, I, I, I thought I knew. I thought I knew. I thought I knew. I thought I knew what was going on. And I don't because Snow's just said that it was Coin that killed Prim. And uh, that dropped the bombs on the kids. Not the capital, not him. <laughs> um, you're having a laugh. You're actually having a fucking giraffe. Coin has now come to them and offered, rather than obliterating everyone in the capital as punishment, it's down to them as to whether or not they send the capital children into another version of the Hunger Games. <laughs> After everything all the other districts have gone through, she's decided, this fucking president of District 13 has decided that this is an option and it's a feasible one to put to the victors. The, why? why? Why would you think that was a good idea? If any of these people vote yes, they can all die. 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 Katniss okay. voted yes. Why did she have to ruin my opinion of her? I don't like her anymore. Don't like her. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> she killed President Coin instead. <laughs> I mean... Wow. Well, Wow. Wow. Wow, she's just got dark, dark. She's talking about ending her own life now. She just tried to take Nightlock and Peter stopped her and she bit him instead. And now she's on about, she's on about how to commit suicide. Jesus fucking Christ, this is no way. <laughs> this is, this is, this is heavy shit. This is heavy. Okay. Okay, I cried. <laughs> um, wow. Did not, did not see that ending coming. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> wow. Wow, 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 wow. Um, wow. That's all I can say. I have, I have no words. It was so good. <laughs> I got through so much of that book without crying. But then the end. The fucking end got me. We did. We did. Um, when Buscott. I listened to this all on audio. Like, I read it all on audio, so I have no concept of, like, um, Names right now, but when the cat came back, when the cat came back, it was just and Peter came back for her and Gail 
fucked off to District 2. I mean, you could take a long walk of a shop here by the end of these books. And there with me thinking that I wanted a fucking childhood romance. Ugh. Oh, who was she? What were you thinking, Lisa? He should have always been Peter. Peter was great! And the fact that her mum just... I mean, I can kind of understand my mum to go back to District 12. But, I mean, I never... Uh, I can never understand why... Especially in, like, YA books, like, mm. adults seem to just not be good parents. So when their dad died, the mother went into this like deep depression and like left Katniss to bring Prim up by herself, basically. And then when Prim died, she just decided to go off to another district to help um, heal people, but she wouldn't even help her own daughter. Like, you still have one child left. That kind of thing just annoys me in books. So that did annoy me. But it also meant that like she could get with Peter and grow with Peter and have children. And yeah, it was so good. Five star series. Five fucking stars. And I loved it so much. <laughs> it's been a wild ride, guys. It's been a roller coaster. Not sure how I'm gonna ride this one again. Oh, I've got to watch the films now. Uh, I said after I'd read the books, I'll watch the films. Yeah. Not this month, though. Leave that till next month because I have Endgame to watch this month. And I've got a couple of theatre shows that are gonna break me. And I've still got four more books that are probably gonna make me cry, so. Thank you very much for watching. If you would like to see me do another spoiler vlog series, then please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know down below what series you would like me to do spoiler filled videos of. Would you prefer it as like individual videos or a series in one big video? Let me know. If you want to let me know you hear me, don't have anything to say, then you can just leave a black heart. And until next time, enjoy. Every time I fall in love, it seems to be at the wrong time.